All right, I'm going to be showing you guys tonight how to tie my simple pheasant tail pattern. There's no frills, there's nothing fancy going on here, but it's quick, effective, and a fairly easy tie. Without further ado, I'm going to get a hook in the vise, get a bead on it, and let's start tying this. The materials list for this fly include a size 16 hook. These are the ones I use. Tungsten slotted beads. This is in copper at three millimeter. Soft, small copper wire. A pheasant tail. Uni thread in six aught, color black. Hairline ice dub, peacock black. And some brushable super glue. I tie this, I am tying this fly tonight on a size 16 jig hook. You can tie it on whatever you want. Especially if you're new, I would suggest starting off on like a size 12, something bigger. To go along with this size 16, I'm going to be using a 3.0 millimeter slotted tungsten bead. So I like to orient my hooks like this in the vise. It gives me two hands if I need them. Today I don't need it. So you get that bead on. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain, but you can get it. So I'm going to start doing some wraps, going down the hook shank quick. I'm going to snip off my excess thread. And then I'm going to take probably three inches of copper wire. So that way I can tie a couple of these at a shot off the spool. I like to get that wire into the slot. I'll work back towards the bead and I'll start working my way back and while I'm doing that I have that wire running alongside of the hook shank and I like to do that just because it adds a little bit more width to the fly instead of making it taller or making it fatter or wider next we will take our pheasant tail fiber and I like to pull off like three or four pheasant tail fibers for the tail Get those onto the hook. Just like that. And when you tie these as much as I do, you start to learn that length right there. It might just be a snid bit too short. I like that right there. So that's about how I like to have the length for the tail. And I will start with pressure. A, a fairly decent amount of pressure. I will start working my way back up the hook shank to the bead. And if you do it right, you have just a slight bit of taper build in there. I will pluck these off while holding onto the bobbin. And I will then pull off another three to four fibers of pheasant tail you can snip the tips off if you want that's all personal preference i'm going to do that because this tail has been very fragile for me i'll move away from the bead a little bit capture the fibers back up to the bead to capture the ends of the fibers and then i will start working my way down the fly towards the tail Followed by going back up. And like I said, we have just a little bit of taper built in. So next, what I like to do is just rough up these fibers a little bit. See how I'm doing that? Just pulling them back. I, I think it, it makes a big difference. And then I'm going to start wrapping up the hook shank. you have a rotary function, which I do on this vise, this would be the time to use it. But sometimes a struggle in life is good. Now that I have that all the way up, I'm going to very carefully capture it. It's very difficult with the camera in the way. But I'll do two wraps in front. 
two wraps behind. And I'll come in, snip that off. Then you want to make sure that you counter wrap your pheasant tail fibers. So we're going to go the opposite direction that we originally did. Three, and there is four. Some people would would prefer you to helicopter this off. I don't really care for it much, so I'm just going to snip with an older pair of scissors, get that out of there. And then to really set this fly off, I'm going to take probably that much dubbing. That's probably all the more that you need. Take that much. I'm going to put it on the thread. And I know when I have enough, because it's just about as wide as my finger. That's what I use to gauge how much dubbing I need. So next I'm going to wrap this around. And to finish the fly and give you some really good durability, I take a little bit of super glue and I will just brush that on. It's like enough for like two full turns. I'll give that on there. And then you just get your whip finisher. One, two, three. It's really all you need. Especially with that super glue. Make sure you're in there good and tight. Cut it off. And I always like to, just because you can see a little bit of that black thread, I like to take my fingers. I have rough hands, so I like to take my fingers and just rough up that dubbing a little bit just to make it look like you got some crawly legs there but that's it that is my simple pheasant tail deadly effective durable catch a bunch of fish on these let me know how you guys like this fly and what others you'd like to see in the future thanks for watching